So, so we have to be still at some point, <coughs> excuse me, for our inner world to start to become more real than the outer world. People, I'm always, it's always interesting, you know, when people say to me, well, you know, I don't really believe in God, or I don't believe in prayer. I say, well, why? Tell me why. Really, I can take it. Tell me why. And they say, well, nothing changes. I pray and nothing changes. But see, they're looking for change in the world. They're looking for change at the level of effects in the outer. <clears throat> so let me say something about the I don't believe in God part. And the people say, I don't believe in God. I say, well, why don't you believe in God? And they'll say, well, I can't believe in a God that lets these things happen in the world. How many of us have had that conversation with people? Right? OK, well, and so. I really believe that God's response to that, when we say, God, why do you let these things happen in the world? That God's response is, I don't let these things happen in the world. You do. You know? There's a reason it's come to your intention, attention, right? There's a reason you notice every article and every time it's on the news and every time it's on the radio, there is a reason it comes to your attention. You're supposed to be doing something about it, OK? So, so so how many people think that like, it would be a good idea if we had world peace? Yeah, I'm on board. I'm on board. World peace sounds great. You know, how many people are concerned that like, there might not even be a world here for your grandchildren? Right? I mean, we might blow each other up before then. Right? So it's like, yeah, so world peace would be a good idea. OK, so do you think that that's going to happen because of what other people do? Or is that going to happen because of what we do? You know, there are already monks and nuns sitting in monasteries and ashrams all over the world who are praying all the time. We probably would have blown ourselves up by now if it weren't for them balancing the consciousness of the planet. You know, that thank God somebody's holding it in spiritual balance so because we, we would have gone too far way ahead of now. But if it's something that hits your radar, you know, and you think it's important, it's not that God's going to sweep down like a superhero and say, it's World Peace Day starting now. You know, if that's not going to happen, what's going to happen is that we're going to make a little effort and we're going to pray every day for peace. Look, I, I love to go to spiritual destinations, you know, and one of the things I started to realize, I've been to Fatima in Portugal a couple of times. I've been to Lourdes a couple of times in France. I've been to Medjugorje in um, what was Yugoslavia. All of these places, the Blessed Mother, the Divine Feminine, has, been, uh, has showed up and has given messages that were really important for humanity. I've been to all of these places. And you know what she says at every one of these places, other than bless you, what she says at every one of these places is to pray for peace, to pray for peace. And people think, oh, she doesn't mean me. You know, <laughs> she must mean somebody else, you know. So, so this is the part about, you know, I, when people say, oh, I don't, why does God let these things happen? It's like, God doesn't, we do. Okay, on to the next part. You know, so, so now the, the prayer doesn't change because we're looking for change. We're looking that when we pray, we want to see some change out here in the outer world. But see, prayer creates change in the inner in the inner world, in our consciousness first. And when your inner is different, then eventually your outer will be different. But the outer plane phenomenon is the last level to change. It's like the last level to get the news. You know, that everything happens in consciousness for a long time before it shows up out here. By the time it shows up out here, we've already been peaceful people in here for a long time. You know, Ernest Holmes said if God ever answers prayer, God always answers prayer. And we think, how can that possibly be? But that's a great mystical truth. You know, but we say, but, but, but how? How? I just want to know how. How is my prayer going to be answered? I don't even see how this problem can be solved. I don't see how. I don't see how. You know what? It's the nacho principle. It's nacho business. How? <laughs> really? It's not. That's got, you know, there are lots of things that are involved that clearly do not concern you. Your job is to know that it is done. Your job is to know that it is done. Thank you, God, that I am healed. Thank you, God, for my perfect health. Thank you, God, that I am healed. Thank you, God, for my perfect health. Thank you, God, you know, that all is well with, with my parents. Thank you, God, for my perfect right work. Even though it may not look that way on the physical plane yet, your job is to know that it is done. That's the role of faith. 